Now, I know the subject of repentance is a real hot topic in the church today. However, in the Bible, we see that God repents even though He never sinned. We see unsaved people repent towards salvation, and we see saved people also called to repentance. So let's take a moment and let's look at the subject of repentance. Now, the subject of repentance is a real central theme to scriptures. We see that John the Baptist preached repentance, Jesus preached repentance, the apostles preached repentance, and the New Testament church preach repentance. We also see John at the end of the Bible in Revelation speaking on behalf of Jesus preaches repentance to five of the seven churches. So let's look at John first. In Matthew 3 verse 1 and 2 it says, Now in those days John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea saying, Repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Number two, Jesus also preached repentance. We see right here in Luke chapter 5, verse 31. It says, And Jesus answered and said to them, It is not those who are well who need a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then also in Mark 1, verse 15, it says, um, Jesus saying, The time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the good news. And then thirdly, we see that the apostles also preach repentance. Here in Mark 6 verse 12 it says, They, the apostles, went out and preached that men should repent. And then fourthly, we see that the New Testament church actually preached repentance. In Acts chapter 2 verse 3 it says, Peter said to them, Repent, and each of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. In Acts 3 verse 19 it says, Repent then and turn to God, so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. And then in Acts 20 verse 21 it says, How I have kept nothing that was helpful from proclaiming it to you, and taught you publicly from house to house, testifying to Jews and also to Greeks. And here it is, Repentance toward God and faith, toward our Lord Jesus Christ. And then fifthly, we see Jesus through John and the Isle of Patmos writing to the seven churches. And five of them, He calls them to repent. And here is what I don't understand why people have a problem with telling born-again Christ followers that it's time to repent. Because Jesus told the churches to repent. We see right here in chapter 2 of Revelation, He says, Remember therefore from where you have fallen, Repent and do the first works, or else I will come to you quickly and remove your lampstand from its place, unless you do what? Repent. Then we see in the same chapter, chapter 2, verse 21, he speaks to the corrupt church and he says, And I gave her time to repent of her sexual immorality, and she did not repent. Then we see in chapter 3, he speaks to the dead church. He says in verse 3, Remember therefore how you have received and heard. Hold fast and repent. Therefore, if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief, and you will not know what hour I will come upon you. Then we see him speaking to the lukewarm church in chapter 3, verse 19. It says, And as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Therefore, be zealous and repent. We see God calling even the church to repentance. But are these repentances the same? These different repentances are not all the same. I mentioned in the beginning of the video that God repented even though He never sinned. And I did that to prove to you that there's repentances mentioned in the Bible where we cannot necessarily participate in. God repented a certain way. Unsaved people have to repent a certain way. Saved people have to repent a different way. When God repented, He may have regretted something, or he changed his mind as to what he was going to do to a certain people. That was God's ways of repentance without him ever being in the wrong. Unsaved people, when they repent, they repent from dead works. They turn their back on self. They deny self. They turn to Christ. When you turn to God, when you turn to the cross, you are turning away from something. And that is you're turning away from relying upon self as Savior. You reject yourself as Messiah and you turn to Jesus Christ as the Messiah. 
when unsafe people do that, when they repent and believe, repent, turn against self, believe in Christ, their sins are all swallowed up in the cross, past, present, and future. They are saved because of that. But when God calls saved people to repent, that is not so much unto the forgiveness of sins, but that's unto change. Remember the word repentance is the word metanoia, which means to change your mind. Now, in, Re in Romans chapter 12, it tells us to... He says, I beseech you therefore, brothers, not to be conformed to the ways of this world, but be ye what? Transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind, by the changing of your mind. That is a repentance Christians are called to participate in. We're always talking about spiritual warfare. Well, what is spiritual warfare? Spiritual warfare is pulling down the strongholds that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Speaking of thoughts that exalts itself against God. Now that in itself also is a repentance. It's a readjusting of your life constantly throughout your Christian walk as you change your way of thinking. And we also see right here in the, in the book of Revelation when uh, Jesus spoke to the churches. He said to them, unless you repent, I will snuff out your light. I will remove the, the, the candlestick from, from you. What was he saying? He was basically saying, if you repent you'll be fruitful and useful in my hands. But if you don't repent, you will no longer carry the light. He didn't say, I'll remove your name from the book of life. He says, I'll remove your light. You will no longer be the beacon of light, the beacon of hope in your community. So when Christians repent, they repent unto transformation. They repent unto usefulness in the hands of God. I hope you got something out of this. If you're unsaved and you need to come to Christ, well, then you turn. In other words, you repent. Turn your back on your own works, your dead works, because you cannot save yourself. And believe in Jesus Christ and His work that He can save you. If you're a born-again Christian, God's called you to change the way that you think so that you can be transformed. In other words, repent unto transformation, usefulness, and fruitfulness. Now, I've got to do something right at the end here. I have to answer a question that I know everybody's asking. Well, isn't my repentance a work? And I thought I wasn't saved by works, but I was saved by grace through faith. Well, the point is that repentance is actually not a work. It's a gift. Look at this. In Acts chapter 5, verse 31, it says, God exalted him at his right hand as leader and savior to give repentance to Israel and forgiveness of sins. In Acts chapter 11, verse, verse 18, it says, when they heard this, they quieted down and glorified God, saying, Well then, God has granted or given to the Gentiles also the repentance that leads to life. It's a gift that God gives a person. We see in 2 Timothy 2 verse 25, uh, Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will give them repentance, leading them to the knowledge of the truth. You see, salvation belongs to our God. And part of salvation is repentance. It is all God's work. Grace is, faith is, salvation is, repentance is all of God. And God's calling us to take that faith He's given us and turn to Christ and believe in Him. This is salvation. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. We hope that you're blessed by these video messages my husband Jacques is putting out. If so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to like and follow. We love you, we're praying for you, and thanking God for His plans and purposes to prosper in your life.